Hello everybody, Battlefront CJ here, just checking the recording. This is an express train I made up. Sorry about the Sopranos in the background, my sister is watching that. Um, Nicole, I want to record, please. Can you just... But turn it down a little bit. All right, so um, this is uh, my express train I made up. Um, uh, I live in Mars Plains, and there's a and there's a lot of traffic uh, along this route, and I and I proposed my own trolley routes, my own trolley routes. These routes that I made up, uh, it's based off that that one over there, right? A couple of these that I made up. But this one is a little different now. Um, this is what I call Speedwell Junction. The train station's right here. Franklin Place, Speedwell, uh, Speedwell Avenue Extension, which is known as Greenwich Avenue, which if you take this all the way, will take you to Greystone Park, um, which is this area right here. Uh, in another plan I will talk about later. I'll just make it part of it, but I call this Speedwell Junction because, you know, you got 202 right here, you got the train station, all right, so this is the northern ter terminus of this express train I made up. And, of course, I've got all this stuff up still, but, um, yeah. Um, so I'm going – I recorded a gaming video before, but it just didn't go through. So um, so this is – that's where the – that's where it's supposed to end. But I'm going to title this whole area uh, Speedwell Junction. This is basically the beginning of of that. So I'm gonna call this uh, all the all the junctions here are um, um, all all the routes are considered. I call them junctions. Now these uh, I proposed um, I proposed hybrid trolley systems that um, can draw can go in any place that there are rails. So pretty much. The vehicle will be able to go on the tracks and go northbound and southbound. The reason I call it Speedwell Junction is because, you know, it's a great, it's a great, um, great area. So this is where it begins. Now I might move this actually. Yeah, I'm going to move this a little bit over. Um... I actually, I'm going to move it close. I don't know. Should I move? Should I overlap them? Yeah, I want to overlap them. So, then you've got Glenbrook Road. Now, Glenbrook Road can take you to this street called Mountain Way. And then, eventually, it will take you to Grace. It, it's a bypass to go to Greystone. You know, like Central Avenue is where Greystone goes. Greystone begins. If you take it all the way, it'll take you to Greystone Park. But see, this isn't this isn't the current view. This is more. This wasn't all. This wasn't. But I call this Governor Chris Christie Drive or GCC Branch. Um. This would be a station, um, Glenbrook Junction. Right here. I just feel like making this video uh, just because I feel like it. And there will be a fun little um, made a fourth video for you guys. I just downloaded um, some. I just downloaded um, Saga Edition for Battlefront. So this is Glenbrook Junction. So pretty much you have a uh, station here, station here. And then you have Hanover Avenue, which is the main station. So Hanover Avenue, it connects. It connects all over. Um, it connects um, to. It connects to Franklin Heights and School over here. It connects to. Um, it connects to. Uh, it eventually goes to another route. Um, that is called. Um, that is, uh, that is called um, Sussex Avenue. Let's see, Sussex Avenue. Oh my gosh.
No, whatever. Just ignore that. I... Yeah, just watching your Sopranos, but... Yeah, this is a really good um, intersection. This eventually we're taking to Mars Town, but I just feel this takes you to Acme. I'm gonna call this Hanover Avenue. It's more of like a bus service, but it's more of an express bus. It will have it will pretty much go along the lines. It it will. Yeah, whatever, dude. And you have here, you have, um, and then the next street, it avoids all this stuff. Um, what is it? Um, yeah, um, oh, I can't, okay, no one can hear that good. Um, so, um, then you have the second to last station. So you have, um, one, two, three, and then you have Sussex Avenue, which pretty much serves Hanover Avenue serves that area. So pretty much. All right, this is Sussex Avenue. Now you have another, like basically this route included every single station, but I've, I've kind of moved it out a little bit where it doesn't include all these stations. And now, uh, uh, now this is Spring Street. Um, this is the main line of US 202 line. Um, and then you have the Mars Stern Green, which is the terminal, and then 202 um, becomes double way over here. It goes uh, both towards the green um, with, um, which this is more of a better, better thing over here. You've got McCullough Avenue here, which I do some stuff there, but um yeah, and this is the Mars Town Green. It would make a good terminal spot because back in the day when there were trolleys, uh, this this building, which I'm going to show you before I actually finish the route, this building right here used to be um, used to be part of uh, the trolley system. Like that used to be a trolley house because I remember I have a video, I have a book about this. Um, there's actually a photo of this when it wasn't paved. This is the terminal right here, Mars Sun Green. It's a very really good park. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's an amazing park, but I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, it's more of the square, but it's an amazing, it's amazing. And now we have... All right, and these are the routes. The reason I put Sweet Road Junction there is because that I find to be the most important intersection in Myers Plains, obviously besides this, obviously besides Mountain Way Junction that I've made up yet. So that said, that's pretty much it for that route. So you've got Speed Road Junction, then you've got Glenbrook Junction, obviously the, the terminus. 
Um, you've got Han oh, Hanover. I forgot to put Avenue. Ave, right? Hanover Ave. It's uh, Sussex Sussex Avenue, and then you have the Markstown Green, which is the intersection of County Road 510, which continues this way towards Mendham. You have 202 North, and you have and you have Route 24, 124, that connects over here to all these nice businesses, but. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't make a lot of noise, but, you know, I believe in pedestrians, and I believe that there is a route like this. It would it would severely cut down cars, and it would, um, it would severely, like, make traffic go away. But I feel like going the straight route. That's kind of, for me, it's more direct than express. However, you, like, the way I go into Marstown is I go down this way. To Hanover, Hanover to Hanover to uh, Martin Luther King, and then there's a street called Abbott Avenue, and or wait, where's Abbott Avenue? Oh no, wait. Um, oh no, wait. You cut through. No, where is it? Oh, wait, that's Cord Road. Uh, we we cut through. Oh no, it's not the end yet. Um. We cut through, we go through Abbott and then, no, not Abbott, do we? Oh yeah, Abbott. And then there's a little, um, there's a little store, um, along this way by the, by the train station. And basically we go up this route and then, uh, that's another way you can go, obviously. And then you can go, you can get to town that way. But I just prefer this route. It's more direct and straight. And you won't have to, you won't have to stop at every single one of these places. You won't have to, you won't have to deal with that. All right. So now I'm going to make another route for, for all you people who, um, so this is going to be called the uh, Greenwich Avenue line, but I'm not going to make any markers. So you go over here. This is the whole business park of Speedwell. You've got Jack Y Avenue, or Mayfair. You've got this nice park here that I go to, and you've got this Sun Valley Way that I don't know about. I don't know about that route. Uh, you've got this is Mountain Way Junction, um, basically because Granite and Mountain Way are the two main streets in Mars Plains, and I feel that. Um, uh, uh, residents can benefit from a line that goes up here, and this will eventually connect. Why do I? Why do I? Why did I keep? Why did I keep Dogwood Road? Oh no, wait, I know why I keep that. Kept it. Dogwood Road is considered. Well, I made it up primarily because th this area is a bypass for that. Because there's a lot of traffic here in the morning, not during the pandemic, obviously, but. And then you've got this road. This connects you all the way up and will eventually connect you to Route 10, which is a main thoroughfare. Thoroughfare, excuse me. And then you've got, well, this road is Collins Road. And then you've got uh, Executive Drive. You've got, um, what, is it, what else is it called? I mean, look, they already have a bus. Look, as much as I like buses, um, I still wish that there was a more unified transit, like a trolley bus or just a trolley system. Like they have buses already, but that's just my plan. And I know what people are going to say. Oh, that's crazy talk. Okay. So um, the road will the road splits off right here at at Union Hill Junction. One way goes this way, which connects to Upper Mountain Way. Which basically, one seat rides can go to South Powder Mill, which is more closer, can connect you to either 10 West or 10 East, 
which is the main line, or it can go Union Hill and connect Union Hill that way and go all the way to Denville, which eventually will take you through Rockaway, Franklin Avenue, and then we'll use this section of the line if they want to. So yeah, I like making history and plan videos using Google Earth because it takes it takes away from the BS of 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 everything. Okay, I messed up. Whatever. So um, I have a unified plan for Dover too, right? So Dover is a um, is one of the largest stations west of Marstown on the Lackawanna. This line is the Lackawanna. So I have a plan to um, make uh, the, basically to do this, all right? So um, this line is originally known as the Dover and Rockaway Railroad. It's only a single line freight line and the state is actually thinking about removing this. So what I want, so what I was proposing is, is realign it through the town of Dover, but replace it with a bikeway and a bike path. Because obviously this isn't used much. And the state could use the land for this and make like a nice little rail trail through town or turn it into something. The over here used to be a speedway back in the day. Um, I just looked it up. There was a station right here. And it was called the Do according to one of my Jersey Central books. Yeah, I mean, besides like in games, I'm a big railroad history buff. And some days I just like to ramble about all these projects I have um, made up. Um, but yeah, the, no, that's just, that's just the gist of that. But yeah, um, this, their, um, Rockaway, this is, I think the Rockaway, or one of the parts of the Rockaway, Rockaway, there was, um, a train station up here a little bit. Um, and, the obviously it went up to Hibernia and everything. I mean, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is Google, this is Google maps. Um, you've got, um, you know, so then you got, um, and now there are two lines over here. There, there, there are two rare lines over, um, what is it? Over, because there's a junction over here. This is called Link, Lake Junction, right? So you've got both lines over here and, um, one line and then obviously they split this is like junction they split one go one cross both lines cross 46 and one goes by these lakes which i am pro, a pro proposing a future stop at horseshoe lake there could be a little um like station stop over here um because it would be good to uh, o open this stuff to passengers um, you know, like a light rail or something, and it turns into, uh, oh wait, it's still going. At some point, it is, it turns into the Columbia Trail. Uh, if, uh, it goes by the town of Flanders. And no, it's not Flanders in Belgium. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know if you guys really understand, but, um, basically, um, Chester used to have a train station, but unfortunately it closed down. There's a rail line to chat. There's a, there's a rail line to, um, yeah, there, there's a rail line, uh, that split off one of those roads, like either route 10 by a town that's known as Flanders, right? And those train tracks, um, where, oh. No, wait, this one ends past Horseshoe Lake. I forgot. This line, I think, dead ends right here. Um, it's kind of abandoned. I'm going to show you the... Um, maybe I can do Google Earth, but this is pretty much, I think, what it would look like. No, no, no street view. This is by Horseshoe Lake, obviously. This is where the line ends. But then you have this line right here. Um, who that that ends right by US 46 now I obviously now in the old days this connected this was a main street which this road New Jersey Route 10 bypasses so um, you have uh, 
Now, across the tracks here is a former, like they have a train station, right? There's a train station, I think, that connects, um, that connects over, that used to connect over the tracks, and there was like a station like right in the middle here. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not in service anymore, obviously, but uh, there was, I think it was right here. I think where this building is is where the station was. If my memory serves me right, even though I'm not old enough, I still, I still like to look it up. History's fun for me, you know. It's not, it's not all boring. It's not, it's not all boring to you people that think, hey, well, Battlefront CJ likes to do games. No, sorry, it's not how I whirl. I like to play. I like to look at video. I, I like to look at. I like to look at. Uh, tr I like to do train videos. So I think this is a station. I think this was an old train station. I'm pretty sure. Uh, by the looks of it, unless it's a house, but it looks like it was an old train station. This, I think, was Flanders train station. Uh, I'm pretty, yeah, I think it was. It's, uh, Flanders. <sighs> okay, now we're going to continue. Alright, this course is US 206. And then, past here, it turns into the Columbia Trail that goes all the way to, goes all the way past here to, to what is known as High Bridge. And this is where the trail begins. It goes 15 miles all the way down the 100, 100 in County. But it, you know, it's crazy, dude. It really is crazy. It goes through Long, Long Valley. I think it crosses over. Wait, is that still the same street? No, it's no, 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 no. All right, well, that's one video for one day, but I'm going to show you where this ends. High Bridge Station. It ends right past the high bridge train station see the station is right here and it the branch which is known as a high bridge branch connected all the way if you can see there was like a y one way going that way and then another way so this basically would connect to to Phillipsburg, and then this way would connect all the way to, to jersey city which is which is no longer being in service because obviously they have, if if you ever, if you're into, if you're in the East Coast railroading like I am, because I'm a, into mostly the Noisy's Corridor and that kind of stuff. Um, this is so basically at a connection here, which is known as uh, Aldane or Aldean, I think, or Aldlet. I can't, I can't say the name, but um, this is the junction point, right? So basically. The Jersey Central Railroad, right? It was four tracks here at one point, but then it continued and went over here. And if and if you guys ever been to Elizabeth before, you'll notice that there are these weird crossings and what are known as ghost crossings. And then if you ever been on the North East Corridor, let's say like um but oh no, is that the different no 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 that's no 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's that's the different line. I'm sorry. That's I messed that up. This is part of the Stan Line Railway. That uh, I'm sorry. I messed that up. Um, so yeah. Um, this looks like it's four tracks. It goes down to one, and it continues straight. And this is unused railway. And um, it on the Northeast Corridor. There's a station called is this. Now there's a street over here, right? Um, I forgot what's the name of the street. Linden Road. I never been to Elizabeth, but I just know about it because I'm a rail buff and I know there's a lot of rich history over here. This was an old single uh, signal system with the crossings removed. Obviously, there's nothing really done with this. It's just grouted and weeded. You know, the state's just leaving it to rot because, you know, the terminal became inaccurate inaccurate or whatever it's called 
once again, I am rambling on. Uh, there is a building here. So this is originally four tracks. Um, you guys, uh, I'm not going to edit it, so I can't really, you can't really see, but uh, as if there are rails under Elizabeth, the Elizabeth station used to connect. I'm going to, I'm going to show you because there's a lot of railroad photos that are taken under this overpass. So basically this is the Jersey Central's bridge. And this is the Pennsylvania Railroad Bridge. So the Pensy go Pensy used to go over here with the Jersey with the Jersey Central connecting over here, and the Jersey Central went to went went to Jersey City, Elizabeth uh, went to Jersey City, Perth Amboy, places east, and went all the way down to the shore. Well, not fully, um, but now it connects with the Lehigh Valley Railroad. To, to Newark. So it originally went to Jersey City and now it went to Newark. And basically, um, I'm just rambling, rambling, rambling. There used to be a train station right here um, called the Hill, Hillside Train Station, which was called, I think, Elizabeth slash Hillside. And basically, um, it was closed, I think, in like 61 when the Lehigh Valley originally discontinued its passenger service. Uh, Lehigh Line. Um, so, uh, and then this is what's known as the Irvington Industrial Branch that only had state that the, the branch is still open, but there used to be a train station, I think, there, passenger service, which Irvington's kind of a weird area. But if you ever go on Interstate 78 and you see there's a bridge, this is the bridge that we're talking about. This is the bridge that you're talking about. I think. It, the, it ends right here at a yard. Single track, obviously. Um, and then uh, obviously, and then this is the part where US-22 becomes an expressway. It begins at uh, this road right here. Um, it, you know, eastbound 22 goes north and it continues straight and then you've got now basically this railroad is used for 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 passengers but like rarely passengers but it's a highly um highly a vital freight corridor and then obviously here you have a track going towards newark east pedal street and then over here the lehigh line continues towards uh towards its terminal towards um, Jersey City, even though it's not served by Jersey City, the only railroad that is, the only, the only, the only train that is served is Hoboken. The only terminal around the river is, is, is Hoboken. You got a ferry here, you got all that stuff. Yeah, and this you've got. Um, obviously, you've got. This doesn't exist. This, this, there's no purpose. Wish you could look at railroad videos on Google Earth, but um, it's impossible, unfortunately. But yeah, um, there are two. Um, there are two um, stations in between. There's Union Station. Uh, you should look up on YouTube Union Station Rail Fanning at Union, New, New Jersey. If you like rail fan, if you if you're a rail fan. You should look at it because um, it is a very nice site. Um, freight trains are coming from uh, coming from like both directions, and then you see a occasional New Jersey train, New Jer NJ Transit train. I don't find NJ Transit to be amusing, even though uh, even though I live in there, even though I live there, it's not it's not entertaining. And then we've got Roselle Park. Now now these stations right here when the Jersey Central connection was established in 1967, Lehigh, um, most of these were were grade crossings, but because of the expected traffic, they decide, okay, well, let's, let's grade separate it, which look, I mean, I prefer grade separation just because, you know, it, I, uh, the railroad accidents are bad and some, some train, there's some like, 
there's some like train crossings and everything and all that crap but um if you can see there's slots for for one track i mean for a track here a track track here but not you know All right, so this is it. Um, this is, I think, four. And obviously, you, you're continuing eastbound, but there's not like There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of, uh, all right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a ramble about trains and everything. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.